In this video, we will be discussing a problem that many people with anxiety and ADHD struggle with, recurring thoughts. Then we'll provide a suggestion for you to deal with them. PanicAttackRecovery.com Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. We're a collaboration of former sufferers helping people with panic attacks, stress, anxiety, depression, and ADHD. As mentioned, today we want to discuss a problem that many people suffer from, recurring thoughts. We average about 50,000 to 70,000 thoughts per day. One problem for many of us is that these thoughts are recurring. One really good way to deal with your thoughts is through Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, CBT. This allows you to follow a systematic method to work with your thoughts by finding what are called cognitive distortions in your thinking, and then substituting healthier thoughts in their place. We completed a detailed video on this some time ago, which you can view by clicking on the upper right hand side of this video. In this video, we want to provide a quick tip that we find useful for dealing with certain thoughts that you might seem to notice are recurring often. Our suggestion is to keep a list of recurring thoughts. This works especially well if you keep an electronic version of such thoughts because you can quickly do a keyword search in an electronic document. The great thing about this method is that you can even complement the process of CBT with this technique. In fact, that's how you might come to notice that certain thoughts are recurring. What you will notice is that certain common things recur and these are the things that you'll want to start to document. The next thing that you want to do with these thoughts is to either carry out CBT on them or simply generate some rational responses that make you feel better. Then document these responses next to the original thoughts. Then the next time you're feeling upset by these things, refer to this list of thoughts and your responses. Often recapping your previous responses can make you feel better. If you try these suggestions fairly quickly, you can develop a useful list of thoughts and responses. This can be a simple and effective tool to keep in your toolbox for dealing with stress and anxiety. We hope that you've enjoyed this video and look forward to presenting another one next week. To make sure that you don't miss out on any of our content, please click on the card on the upper right corner of this video and subscribe to our free newsletter.